The T. Parry T10 weight scale indicator is a popular, easy to use scale system for livestock producers. Now we will explain the basics of using this indicator. To turn the unit on, simply push this button. Whenever you turn the scale on, it asks you to select a file. Just imagine you're pulling out your notebook to record some animal weights and you start by writing the date at the top of the page. Let's name this file Steers. Push record and we go to the main weighing screen. Now you will see the file name here with the date. Over on the RH side of the screen, you can see the battery level and if the unit is plugged into a power socket. Just below this is the weighing mode. Here we have Lock 3 AREC. This is a common setting. Lock 3 means the scale will lock on a weight in approximately 3 seconds. AREC means the scale is on Auto Weigh Record. Down at the bottom of the screen you have the weight gain display and finally in the middle you have the main weight display. Below the weight gain display is the tally. This shows you how many animals you have weighed. Over on the right hand side, here is where the animal health dose rate is displayed. This is auto calculated based on the animal's weight. Now for the keyboard. The arrow keys are used to move around the screen during setup and when viewing or selecting files. The most common buttons are Setup, Weigh and Record Select. We think of Record Select button as the Enter or OK button. When you set up your scale on your weighing equipment, make sure you push the tear button to zero out the weight of the crate. Finally, the delete button is there just in case you need to remove a record. The reweigh button is for when you have an animal in your crate and due to excessive movement the weight reading is not correct. Simply push reweigh and do it again. Before you use your scale, you need to make sure that the correct load bar setting have been selected. To do this, press Setup, Weigh, followed by S on the keyboard. This will take you to the System Setup screen. Use the arrows to scroll down to the line called Load Bar Model. In page 12 of the instruction manual is a list of the different types of load bars that are compatible with this scale. We will select IS4000 by scrolling through the options. While you are in this screen, you can also set the date time and select either kilograms or pounds as your unit of measure. Simply push Setup Way twice and you will return to the main screen. You are now ready to start weighing.